Robbie G, Robbie G, Robbie G. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a phenomenal show ahead of you. I tried to shock you because the show is going to be very shocking. You understand? So I don't want you to sit there in your churchy vibe. Oh, Lord, I can't believe it. Why? Why? I want, and Robbie is a very good friend of mine, but I want him to cuss out his rust. You understand? You understand, that's what it's called, it's called a roast. For those who haven't been to a roast before, it is about cussing people. It's the one chance you get to cuss people. Whoa, spend every night in your arms. I wish I could give you my heart, but boy, I can This is what we're talking about, we like it. We rip people, we have fun. It's all jokes, we're all friends at the end of it. Trust me, I don't know about the pussy old thing, we're gonna discuss that. But everybody else is friends up here. Did you feel like you had to prepare for this evening when you pumped up and everything? No, I never prepare. One thing about doing the roast is I never prepare. I always like to freestyle because the best jokes come that way. You know, I find if you, I mean, some comedians are good at preparing and delivering, but for me, I find if I prepare, the delivery sounds swag. It sounds terrible. It's like, I, it sounds rehearsed. All right, for black people to get on TV, they need three things. They have to be gay, have gay tendencies, or date a white girl. Now, I don't know which one you'll fit in. But I know somewhere along the line, something I'll go out and I know, cause Arch Richard, he fucking know, they stick fucking thing up in batty, or don't even love it, they love that. That's why he was on TV. <laughs> it's funny, Rick, me about the pipe my bottom and stuff. It's very true. We've all been on TV, except you. <laughs> That's where you're wrong because I have. But I didn't go down to no blood clot, man. I made man put thing on my body. It's true. It's true. It's true. But you know, son, because you ain't got the talent, maybe you should. <laughs> From a rose, little bit of ceiling. But you're better. I know you don't notice the missing teeth when you saw it up on the screen. So just look at the hey, missing teeth. Go, hey, go on, hey, go on, baby. Hey, that if I was gonna suck your dick, you wanted to put it through my teeth. So I bust out this teeth for you, and the gap was too big. Fuck you, bitch. True. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. I wanted to fuck her in her teeth, but Is all I can say. How was your roasted experience at the edit? Oh, 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 she got the wrong name. It's Kane. Kane. No, Kane. No, shut up. Shut no. up. Don't edit that. Don't edit that. <laughs> she called me Eddie. Everybody got it. I mean, what was up with the wig snatching? Yeah. No, because oh. no, because you know. Oh. No, no. Oh. She's trying to tell people I slept with her, and I would never. So I'm just saying, I was just showing the people I would never go that low. I want to let them see what she's all about. So I took that shit off. Even though I want. Are you getting me? And your nose is abroad. It takes up 90% of your face. <laughs> so you might want to turn up the aircon in here. You understand? I'll be honest with you, you know how I met Robbie, yeah? Because you know like, you, you see someone you know and you think, ah. <laughs> I used to work in Sainsbury's, you know? Trust me. No, I'm not a waste man thing, I'm still a bad man in there. <laughs> I'm still a bad man in there. I used to draw the girl and come in there. You understand? Well, I've heard about it. Obviously, I heard about it on the circuit, heard about what it's all about. And it kind of figured, I was thinking to myself, well, how can they have a cussing contest and not have me there? That's the only reason I did comedy in the first place. And I love it. I'm a bit upset that, you know, I got Robbie G because he's kind of an old, old timer, you know what I mean? And man, they're rusting. I went, oh, 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 oh. I'm saying, I'll start it now, but I'm just saying, I would have rather a young gun, but I can, I can deal with the OGs. I could try a thing. Really awkward right now, it doesn't seem pretty. It doesn't seem like you're feeling me Why? When I'm telling you the truth, but that's the G in me Spend every night Oh baby Alright listen, let me 
go. Girls screaming how big dude came out. Y'all was, mm, mm. Motherfuckers, huh? You big as shit though, wasn't you? Before I came to the microphone, sound like Mike Tyson. Okay, I'm gonna sing a song for y'all. Yeah, I'm really gonna sing a song. I'm really gonna sing a song for y'all. Like, first of all, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. I just want y'all to know that comedy is what it is, comedy. You can take what we say and learn. Um, it could be insulting to those, but we don't know you personally. So you should just laugh. You know that you're in a comedy show. And I'm a comedian, I'm down to earth, you know, and I keep it all 100. And when I'm on stage, I'm no different from either the cameraman. I'll say something that he can relate to and laugh at. It's just the only difference for me is that I'm bold enough to get on stage and say it where he may not. We have Eddie Nesta. Eddie Nesta, yeah, you was on EastEnders. Yeah. Eddie Nesta was on EastEnders too. But he only lost a short while because he's a fuck up eye. His eyes fuck up. He couldn't read the script, so you know, every time he might read, he might read someone else's part. You know? about that whole rustin experience out there when you got up there what was the toughest part taking it or actually dishing out the rustin to me it don't really matter because i know it's like roast is a roast we're, we're there to, to to curse someone if you if you want to call it curse well basically having a laugh at someone and we know that there's no harm you understand we're just going to curse you and that's it i don't mind taking jokes of me in fact some of the jokes that came at me was like more than a compliment than a, than a joke you understand what i'm saying but i loved it i love giving jokes and i love hearing jokes back And you got Richard Blackwood, and his wood ain't black, it's purple. <laughs> Just like you know, proper dark purple, more pinky down the base part, you know what I mean? To say that the Blackwood came out purple, of course, there's a lot of shit going on in you that would turn any dick a different colour. Wow, that's all I can say is wow. How was your comedy rest experience? You know what, like, I'm telling you, you know, people going, oh, it's harsh in it, it was harsh in it. Them people treating me nice, you know, the amount of dirt them not had on me. They could have all got me locked up for tonight, you know what I mean? They didn't, they didn't, they just, they were just nice. I had a great night, it was great roasting everyone in all favour. I hope people are still talking to me because I'm still talking to them. And some of them went on with fuckeries, excuse the language, you know what I mean? But I'm going to bud them up late, you know what I mean? First and foremost, I am gangster, don't know that. Oh. Bernie Mac, sorry, special pig. <laughs> I didn't know who he was imitating until Bernie died and then I saw him. The only thing is about Bernie Mac, I actually understood what the fuck he was saying. You come across like a retarded fuck. <laughs> Sorry, that is a long word for you. Slow. Slow. <laughs> your pro was all off the top of your head, or did you just think, I need to pull out these stories here specifically? Well, I didn't know they were going to go for me, but when they started to go like that, I thought, well, I better write down what they've said about me so that at least I can remember to have a go back. Uh, but uh, there were at times that I thought Robbie was having it easy, actually, because everybody was going for each other. But it was good fun. It's good fun. I'm going to go upstairs now to see if I've still got a mate. Give you my heart, but boy, I can. Although I want to, I can let it. Can you see the little reach there? To that little ridge, you know what that ridge is? It was the conjoined twin, the other one. BPL is showing at the back there. Uh, I think for me, it was uh, Nanette Boohoo Fagan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely her with her watermark shoes and her Primani clothes and her weave that is not even straight, it's like that. 
So tell us, not many people could come here and do this whole roasting event. What do you think about the whole concept of the roast and who got you involved with it? The concept of the roast is very good. I think you've got to be very thick skinned though, be able to take it because it ain't easy out there. You know what I mean? They do go in hard and a lot of people, you know, myself included, I'm going straight to counselling now because some of them blows hurt. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? I had to phone a couple big men and say, you know what, Richard, get him. You know what I mean? Get that little man that get that little man and all of them. You know what I mean? They're hurting. I don't know who got me involved in it, but they didn't, you know what I mean? That's not nice. Shit, man, I need a hospital bed and a lie down and a cup of tea. You don't want to be with me, you're just being silly. You're just being really awkward right now. It doesn't seem pretty. It doesn't seem like you're feeling me when I'm telling you.